Ready, guys? Okay, so we, so we will have a discussion. The terms of the discussion will be the following. Bob is going to ask a question. I'm going to answer his question. And similarly, I will ask him a question and he will answer my question. Bob can ask the question on the topic that he chooses, which he said he wants to speak about Jesus in the Quran. I will speak about my topic, which is Aqidah, which he was referring to and speaking to Muslims about last week. Now, I will ask a question about my topic and Bob will ask a question about his topic. We will not interrupt each other. We'll have a civil discussion. You finish your point, I'll finish my point. If I interrupt you, call me out on my interruption. If you interrupt me, I will call you out on the interruption. Interruption. Is that fair? Okay, so what we've agreed is we're going to do question for question. The questions can be about any topic. However, the, 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 the debate that I have said that I want to have with this guy is about what the Quran says about Jesus Christ. Those are the questions that I will answer. He can ask any question about that topic and I will answer it. Okay, so as we see here, Bob is afraid to speak about Aqidah. Why? He's coming to Muslims, acting like he's a big man. I can ask questions. I said, you can ask me anything you like. Imagine, I'm giving him free choice to ask any question he likes about Islam. We can defend our religion. We can defend our religion. We're not afraid. But Bob here is afraid because he knows he's about Muslim Aqidah. He knows I'm going to give him a lesson about Islamic Aqidah. So why he doesn't want to talk about his Muslim Aqidah? The topic coming back again. I see this fair. If you have a topic for you, I have a topic for you, for myself. The topic you chose was with the other guy, not with me. We never agreed. It's okay. Show me on camera me agreeing with you on that topic. I never agreed on that. What we agreed upon is you ask a question about the topic you want. And the topic I want is going to be the creed. The topic I want is going to be creed and aqidah. Can I ask you a question about creed and aqidah? And you ask me a question about Jesus in the Quran as you want. If you want that, you can have a nice, a nice discussion. If you don't want in front of everyone here, they see that you know nothing about aqidah, you're afraid to have a discussion about aqidah. Go ahead. So, the question that I came to talk to him about was about what the Quran says about Jesus Christ. Because that was the debate that he interrupted over there. I said to him, that I will have his debate about Aqidah when he apologizes for the rude way that he interrupted my debate earlier. If he is willing to give that apology for his rudeness right now in front of everyone, he can have the debate that he wants. All he needs to do is give a sincere apology for his rudeness. Okay. We as Muslims, we have something in our religion which all Muslims should know. It's called Izzah. We have Izza. We don't apologize to anyone. We don't apologize to people who worship a man who has died on a cross. We, we do, do not, not apologize. Ah, interrupting, interrupting. I didn't oh, interrupt sorry, you. You're right, you're right. I didn't interrupt you're right. you. Sorry, okay. my apologies. We do not apologize to someone who is showing the same rude behavior that he wants me to apologize about. I said, if you want to have an equal debate, leave the past to the past, be the past, and let's focus on right now, unless you're afraid. Let's have a discussion. You will choose your question about the topic you chose. I will choose to ask you about Islamic Aqidah that you were showing your might and asking questions about last week. Is that fair, everyone? Yes. We can yes. all yes. choose a topic. Yes. Each one can answer a question. Yes. Simple, fair terms. Do you agree or do you disagree? Okay, so please note what he said. We do not apologize to those who worship God as a man. Yes, you all heard him say that and it's on camera. In other words, what the slip of the tongue was, is we don't apologize to Christians. That's what he just said, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hand up, Christians, if you want to be a second class citizen. Because what he just said was, we don't apologize to Christians, even when we do wrong. For any religion. Even when we do wrong. And why do we know it was wrong? Because he accuses me of doing wrong by interrupting Muslims. So he admits that he thinks that it's wrong, something that I do not agree to. But then, even though he thinks it's wrong, he does it to me and he won't apologize. Now I agreed that he can ask any question he wants, but what I said the topic was that he ignored was that the topic was about whether Jesus is the Christ. And what does the Quran say about the Christ? He can ask any question he wants about that and I will talk to him about it. If he wants to talk about Aqidah, he just needs to give me an apology. That's all I'm asking for.
Okay, okay, okay. Yes, about Jesus and the Christ. You're done, yeah? yeah. Okay. Now, we can see exactly... I'm going to repeat the same things I said. It's very simple. It's very simple. Bob does not want to have the debate. Do you know why he's afraid? I come to you to He does debate. not know about the topic. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's why even if you tell him, let's have the debate, he will stick with the excuse. He doesn't want to apologize. He bullied me. He doesn't want to apologize. So he will stay with that topic because the reality is he doesn't know about a creed. It's a problem. He doesn't know. And he's traumatizing my, my position about Christians. I never said we should not apologize to any Christian. My words were, was very clear. You can go back, rewind the tape. I said we do not apologize to people who are asking us to apologize of the same things they're doing wrong. He does something wrong and he's asking me to apologize about the same thing he did. I have no problem with Christians. I have so many discussions online with Christians. They are well-behaved, well-mannered Christians. They don't do these things. I have a well-mannered discussion with them. Everyone can see. I apologize many times to people if I interrupt them, etc. You can see this. It's all my videos online. I do not need to justify that. My words were, were clear, but that's the Bob strategy. He takes your words. He strawmans, adds little bit words from him. He adds ex some extra bits and he starts refuting his strawman. I never made the claim you don't apologize to any Christian. That is Bob's strategy. And by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this inconsistent strategy happening so many times in the debate. That's the first time. Now, I'm going to repeat what I said again. People are here. They're waiting. You're wasting their time. Do you want to have a discussion where you choose a topic yourself? I will choose a topic. I'm not controlling your topic. Choose the topic topic I'll ask you a question about my topic you ask me a question about my topic unless as I said you know you're ignorant you know you're nothing about Muslim Aqeedah you're illiterate about Muslim Aqeedah so you're afraid you don't want to talk about it it's not translated so you cannot read it my friend I know it's a big problem for you so do not come and talk about something which you cannot read I'm here to represent my firm Aqeedah my oneness my unity and my creator who's not deficient who's free from all needs if you want to have a discussion about that I'm waiting. People are waiting. Let's not waste people's time. The lady wants to hear a discussion. Other people would like to hear a discussion. Let's agree. Your topic, my topic, one question, one question. Okay, so the quest, the debate that I came here for, the one that I asked him for, and the one that he is running from, and I don't know why. But I, I suspect the reason why he's running from this debate is because Muslims assert that Jesus is the Messiah. Yep. But yet they have absolutely no understanding as to why Jesus is the Messiah. The Quran does not help them. The Hadiths does not help them. And that is the reason why he's running from this debate. Because the Old Testament is clear as to why Jesus is the Messiah. He is the Messiah of the world, not just the people of Israel. He is an eternal being, not just a man. And this is the reason why he doesn't want to debate my topic. He rudely interrupted a debate that I was having on that topic. And I invited him to have that debate with me over there. I have come again to invite him to have that debate with me right now. I am not the one running. I came to him. I came here. I asked him for the debate. Does that sound like someone who is running? The debate that I'm asking for is about what the Quran says about Jesus as the Messiah. That is the debate that I want. If he wants to have a debate about Akida, I am here willing to have the debate. Is that running? No, all he has to do, apparently standing here saying I'm willing to debate you about Akida for the woman who is waiting, is running according to her. And why is that? Why? Because if a Christian stands up to a Muslim, it doesn't matter what they do, they are the ones in the wrong. He needs to apologize for his Akida debate. He can have it right now, right here, all he has to do is apologize to one who worships a man like God. That's all he has to do. Okay, okay. Now I have here a few points, which is showing that Bob is repeating his points again and again and again and again. He's going in a circle. Why? First thing he said, the debate we agreed on. It's on tape. I never agreed with him in only debates. He spoke to a layman Muslim. He was having a debate with him and he wants to force the topic on me because he knows he's ignorant about the other topic. That's the first point. The second point is he's saying I'm running from the debate even though I said ask me any question about Islam. It's either he has a hearing problem 
or he's acting like he never heard me. I said, you can ask about any topic you would like to ask upon. I'm not running from anything, my friend. I'm here. Ask any questions you like about Islam. Islam is a strong religion, my friend. We don't run away like you, okay? Now coming back to the topic, Jesus is the Messiah. I can teach you about the Quran. You mentioned Quran, Hadith, Jesus is the Messiah. I can teach you, my friend. I can tell you what the Quran says. You can ask questions. Do you want the teacher to teach you? I'm willing to teach you. No, there's no issues on that. I can teach you, my friend. Now, when it comes to repeating, uh, interrupting uh, the, the, the other things that happened in the past, you interrupted me that time. He interrupted me. That, he stole my lunch. Bro, get over it. Be a man, man. Get over it. Get over it. Have a discussion like a man, bro. Have a discussion like a man. I'm here to have a discussion about any topic. Stop acting like a victim. Your viewers can see it. They can see the weaknesses in you. Oh, you want to talk about anything? Let's talk then. One question, one question. My topic is Aqidah. Your topic is whatever you want. I can answer it. Again, let's not be in a circle. Let's not waste people's time. Let's have a discussion. People are tired. Go. Okay. So here he's saying that he's willing to have a debate about any topic. Here's my topic. Let's talk about what the Quran says about Jesus being the Messiah. Case closed. We can have that debate. Now, if he's not willing to agree to that debate and he wants to do this, you have your conversation and I have my conversation. The reason why this won't be edifying, ladies and gentlemen, is because we won't be able to penetrate deeply. I can simply obfuscate on his questions and he can obfuscate on mine. But if the topic is singular, there's no dodging or running away. We go deep into a topic. It's edifying for everyone that hears it. If we have two separate conversations, then he will waste my time on the topic he doesn't want to talk about, and I can waste his time on the topic that I don't want to talk about. Out of principle, that I am not a dimmy, that I am not a second-class citizen, I will not debate a topic demanded by this particular man on the topic of Akida until he apologizes for his rudeness. I will debate with him any other topic I will debate any other Muslim, any other Muslim, even Mansour, right now. I'll debate Mansour. I'll debate Mansour on Akida. I'll debate him right now. But until this man apologizes, he won't get the debate that he wants because he demanded his debate by interruption and rudeness. So, Mansour, would you like to debate Akida? Would you? Are you running, Mansour? Hey, running. Is he not a man? He's running. No, you're not a man. He's not running. You're running from the debate about Issa. Do you want to have it, yes or no? Um, again, now it's my time to speak. It's my time to speak. Oh, sorry. She's the lady, asking you to the apologize. Lady, the lady is asking me to apologize. Are you saying no? Which, would you say it's not fair for you to ask me to do something and not ask him to do something, right? Why do you He's, both okay, okay. Uh, if, if he would apologize first, <laughs> I don't mind. You can apologize. Then we will say we are. apologize on all of your behalf. Oh, thank you. Okay, now coming, coming back. Look, again he's, again, again he's, again he's saying, again he's saying the topic, the topic is not edifying. The topic is not edifying. What he actually means, I don't want to talk about it because I don't know it. What he actually means, I want to control the topic. I don't want you to ask your questions. I said one question, one question. It will be edifying because you will ask. I will answer. Now don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. I didn't interrupt you. All right, JC. Interrupt you again. We see second yeah. time who interrupts. That's fair enough. Muslims interrupt or not? Okay. I can own it. Okay. Good. Now we said it's a Q and A, which means you will ask, I will answer your topic. That's very edifying, my friend. You can ask, I can give you answers, and I can tell you what the Quran says. I will give you all the edifying you like, my brother. Don't worry. All you have to do, brother in humanity, by the way. All you have to do. All you have to do is to do the same. Allow me to expose your ignorance, or oh, sorry, to ask you questions about Aqidah, as well as you're gonna ask me questions about my Quran. It's a simple, fair thing. Everyone here, everyone here, everyone here sees this as the truth. Now, people are here. I'm not gonna waste any more time. People have time. I'm fasting and I don't like screaming. None of my videos you'll see me screaming with anyone because that's not how I do things. 
if you want to have a rationalized discussion, people are here, they're moderating, everyone will say Bob, who is standing in front of everyone in the speaker's yes. corner, and he was afraid to talk about Aqidah, even though a Muslim gave him all the chances to ask any questions about the Quran, to ask any question he likes, but because he knows he's ignorant about Aqidah, he's afraid, he doesn't want to talk about it, he doesn't want to expose his ignorance to the layman. Move on, Bob, move on, be a man. Will you talk about it, yes or no? Okay, so let's just deal with Mansour's comical apology on everyone's uh, behalf. <laughs> Mansour knows as well as I do that no man can apologize on another person's behalf. I can't apologize for Mansour. Mansour can't apologize for me. It doesn't work like that. He is afraid. I have invited this brother twice. The man, the man who comes here. Oh, are they, wait, wait, are they interrupting? Are they interrupting? Remember, you okay. said we will try. So, I'm not interrupting. Am so, I interrupting? So, yeah, right now. Oh, you so, said to me, you asked me right. a question. So, yeah, don't try. So, guys, he says, be a man. I've invited him twice to debate the topic I want to debate him on. He has refused. He says that I'm running from the debate. I said I will debate him right now. If he apologizes, but he refused to apologize. And let's just remind everyone of his words. We Muslims do not need to apologize to those who worship man as a god. That's what he said. We don't need to apologize to those dirty kuffar, those little dimmies, those polytheists. No, we've got him on tape, love. You can say he didn't say it, but we have him on the camera and so does everybody else. But here's the difference. We won't edit it out of our videos. But I suspect that you Muslim channels will edit it out of yours. And Mansour's nodding his head and saying yes. He's nodding his head and saying yes. He's saying yes. Now he says that I am not a man. He says that I am a ma not a man. Is Mansour shouting? Is Mansour interrupting? He says that I am not a man. He says that I am not a man. Let's be clear, everyone interrupting. Let's be clear, I'll debate any Muslim here right now on Akida, but not him until he apologizes. Any Muslim, Mansour, do you want to debate Akida? Ali, do you want to debate Akida? No, no, do you want to debate Akida? No, do you want to debate Akida? Do you want, no, do you want to debate Akida? Am I running from the debate? No! He's running from the debate. To have the debate he wants, he just needed to say sorry. That was all I was asking for. Goodbye, cowards, and good night. Bye bye, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for exposing your ignorance. Thank you. Everyone can see your ignorance. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Now, just, just to show that the last romance before we end, again, we see the same consistent thing that Bob does. He stromans my position. He said, I said, uh, Christians are this, Christians are that. It's on video. I never said such a thing. Bob, Bob he likes to strawman. Bob will debate everyone in the park, but not me. That's on video, yeah? He will debate everyone, but not me, which shows his ignorance. So, what we see, any Muslim who comes to the park, this is my sincere advice. Any Muslim who comes to the park, if Bob comes to you, he says, this question about Akhil, say to him, Muhammad is there, go speak to him. Exactly. Tell him, Muhammad is there, go talk to him. Yeah. He's there, wherever you want to have a topic about Aqidah, he's going to have a topic about Aqidah. Exactly. Show us your ignorance about Aqidah, we're here. Yeah, that's it. And, and, yeah, that's and, it. and you know what it is? You know what it shows? Because he came to me last week here, yeah, and well, we've, we've been told very clearly not to speak to him. But the thing is, brothers and sisters, because he knows, Wallahi is very clear. How many shahadas have you guys witnessed in this park on the videos? So many. How many? Wallahi, I'll tell you. The Christians, can you imagine? Oh, they're not talking about Christianity anymore. Wallahi, they don't talk about Jesus anymore. There is no mention of Bible anymore. All they do is talk about Islam. And you know what's really enraging them? Wallahi, I've seen here, I've been coming here for eight years. I've seen minimum 20 shahadas, yeah? Have you guys ever seen one person come to Christianity? One, Aki, one. That's the reason why, because they have the problem of the Trinity, and that's a massive dilemma, they want to find the same with us in the matter of Aqidah. He came to me and goes, you know, oh, Allah's uh, face, does that mean that's another God? 
I'm like, you have a Trinity problem. Why do you want to come here and make? Uh, no, no. Yes. The, let's, that's that's you. You said he asked a question. The question yeah. he's asking yes. is, can more can Muslims worship Allah's face? Yeah. That is the question that Bob was asking yes. last time, and the answer is simply no. Why no? Because we say Allah's face is Allah. Exactly. Allah's hearing is Allah. Yes. Allah's sight is Allah. Exactly. If you worship a separate attribute of Allah, yeah. it indicates and people might think that this is separate from Allah. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't believe Allah's attributes is separate from Him. Exactly. If you worship only Allah's love, Allah's hand, they only worship, they Allah, they only worship, they like, only worship God's word. Yes. That's why they try to make Muslims yes. worship an attribute of Allah. Yes. Yes. And they have in the Bible, you can see in Genesis chapter 2, verse 2, their God, he forgets and he remembers. Yeah. Their God, he regrets. Yes. Their God, he regrets. Yeah. Their God is, the Bible says God is a sheep. Revelation chapter 17, verse 14. Yeah, God is a the man. sheep of sheep. Come on, man. You're coming talking they to believe. Muslims about religion. Yeah. You should read your scripture, but not man. Only that, it's like saying, for example, the argument they use is like saying, oh, did you say, did you say thank you to Muhammad? And somebody goes, oh, did you say thank you to his hand? Did you say thank you to his face? I said thank you to him. What's that got to do with his face or his body parts? So it's clear, brothers and sisters, that because the Trinity doesn't make sense, and in the Western world, millions of people, do you guys know that recent statistics show that millions of people are leaving Christianity? The church, the, nobody's going to the church because they have this problem and they know Trinity doesn't make sense, yeah? One of the Unitarian scholars they had in history, they said, how much longer are the Muhammadis, they used to call them Muslim Muhammadis, how much longer are they gonna laugh at us because of this Trinity? They were telling them, stop believing this nonsense, yeah? That's the reason why, wallahi, there are reverts here that have come to Islam. Like Brother Dawood, he was a Christian before. Myself, I was never a Christian. You have people here who are Christians who've come to Islam because it makes sense. And we, we tried to have a debate, but they had a debate over a debate. But that's it, Muhammad is clear that he's running away. He's looking for a trinity. He's looking for a trinity in the Quran. It's not there. Because it's simple. We worship one Allah. He's not a man. There is nothing like him. Haras. No, we, we are fasting anyways, we don't have time I'm to rest. Fasting. And I lost my voice. It's, yeah, the end, yeah. it's, end, it's the end of it, man. Yeah. We show clearly that he he's not going to have a debate. Yeah. We're not going to have uh, uh, any more discussions. Yeah. But remember the question. He asked you about Aqidah. Yes. Say to him why you run away from the debate. Yeah, he was,